Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. It's Daniel Strong with Excel VBS Fund. Today I want to show you something I'm rather proud of. Um, somebody who's been listening to some of our um, uh, YouTube broadcasts uh, has actually uh, very much so bested me, and I'm very proud of his calendar. His name is Kevin Nee. And anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you what he has done with the calendar program. And uh, I'm going to try to blur out some of the personal information but anyway he sent this to me and I think it's pretty cool so uh, I want to show you this new and improved calendar here so at the beginning he's got a splash screen that runs then he's got a little personalized thing that says welcome Daniel I thought that was kinda cool so um, as you can see here he's got some very nice um, uh, buttons here. He's got a calendar helper that's got a, a multi page here. Tells you how to use it, how to send in your, how to fax your um, thing to him. Anyway, um, he's got some nice named ranges here, so I'm going to go ahead and fill them in. If I hit uh, tab or enter, it says ensure full name is entered, so it must have some kind of data validation to make sure you know that uh, there's a space and then a second word just to remind people don't just put your first name so I think that's very very completely clever I might just use that myself put in your employee ID number put in your location oh let's do one two three is our location and my title is programmer and then see this nice button I love how he does buttons I'm gonna pick his brain I think he probably uses smart art for some of these but uh, I like his buttons and he's got a feedback thing that has a hyperlink that sends an email to him and he's got uh, click here for calendar and you're gonna love this brings up a calendar here click here to change the month and a print calendar actually this is cool um, this print calendar actually uses a uh, worksheet object dot print out and then with the space and then the copies uh, equals one so instead of opening up a print preview when you click this it'll immediately just send that to your printer without further ado and then there's this go to personalize that just takes you back to the personalized data t uh, tab here this is really well written but anyway I'm going to show you the calendar part here he's got a nice calendar here and uh, you can handwrite after you've printed out your signature and the number of sick hours that you want to take off or whatever and each one of these uh, calendar fields has some data valid or um, uh, yeah data validation lists here whether it's bereavement or, or, or whatever as your reason for taking off so I love this and uh, of course whenever you click to change month it opens this little user form it's got a uh, a, uh, a spin button here where you can and that must increase the date by one month or whatever so this is great this is well written um, and whenever you click OK it says you know are you sure you want to continue it's going to change the whole it's going to reset the whole calendar and I'm going to click yes for April of 2013 and you'll see that this calendar just rebuilds itself and I believe he's got uh, some coding to upgrade or update each border as it goes along so um, that's wonderful he's probably uh, yeah so he's using the border to change dynamically and uh, after you get to the 30 it uh, it clears everything out or perhaps it clears the whole thing and just builds borders upon uh, when and where he needs them so I just love this. I just want to brag on Kevin here. You did an excellent job. I love this. I would. This is fun to just play around with. So I'm going to zoom into uh, June of 2015 and hit yes. And uh, of course the user form hides as well. So that's really well written. But uh, yeah. So kudos, sir. Uh, good job. And uh, I just wanted to thank everybody for watching this. And uh, thanks again, Kevin for such a great job uh with this uh with this workbook. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching.